So the academy itself operates from uh, what we call pre-academy, which is six to eight years old, and then also a foundation from eight to 11 years old. And then we go to the youth phase, which would be 12s to 16s. Alison Becker, Cristiano Ronaldo. No, what, what now? Or can it be from the past? It could be anyone. Who is your favourite? Ronaldinho. Probably like Dan Bentley. Dan Bentley. Yeah. Because he's talented. He doesn't give up. And like, yeah. Because he's one of the skillfulest players, and and I watch him every day. What is your favourite thing about Becker Academy? Oh, the tempo. How fast we work. When we're doing our drills, it's always a high tempo. Uh, I like playing the matches and it's good coaching. Right, we get to train every Monday and we have a lot of fun. What would you say is a big difference between the age groups and how you how you work with them and how you develop them as players? I think in terms of working with the younger age groups, so the sixes and sevens, it's about introducing them to the game, um, giving them a good introduction to the game a fun introduction and then from there allowing them to develop their own sort of um, ideology around it and I think for the, the, the 16s at that age they're a little bit more developed they have a bit more understanding so for me it's how can I assist and how can I guide them through what they already know and what they want to discover. Man City at the club of their size especially at that time coming off the bat of winning the league with the Aguero goal, everyone knows that. Just, yeah, really, really good experience. Yeah, playing with loads of players that's like in and around the club, players that have moved on to do like really good things with their football career. I think one of the most recognisable things and most memorable things would be the manner in which they treated us. I mean, they treated us as if we were actually one of the top professional academies in the country, so. to have the opportunity to go and play at an environment of that um, calibre, especially knowing that at the time there was no other uh, professional clubs that had gone in there and actually played. So privileged um, and one, an experience that you probably would never forget really. Well, the players definitely wouldn't forget, still talk about it now, so. Uh, it's been, yeah, a good six years really, I'd say. Uh, finishing off with a bit of a sour note with Covid lockdown, you know, I've had yeah, loads of great memories, loads of people that I've played with that go and going on to do very good things in their football career. You know, grown up, well, grown up here, come through primary school, playing here, come through secondary, playing here. It's, yeah, it's a way of life after a while, you kind of get into a routine every day, every week, getting ready for it, preparing. And as, you, as you're going up, as you're getting older, it's just getting better and better and better for football ability. And you know, start here. I've had loads of coaches throughout the years, loads of good coaches as well, especially as a keeper. I've had keepers from Bristol City Women that have coached me, coaches that have gone on to do stuff with other football clubs. So I've had, yeah, top quality coaches throughout my whole time here, which has, yeah, benefited me as a player a lot more. From the start, it was a lot more serious than any other team I played at before, and that showed through how organized, like the organization and the fact that like we're playing at a different level than before. Two summers ago, before Covid, we, uh, a few of us went to Portugal in the summer and played a tournament there for a week. So, we were, so a few of us were playing with the year above and yeah, we spent the week in Portugal. We could go to the beach between games. It was, it was a really good time and there was a competitive games tournament as well. Um, the football was very different because we, we were playing teams from like Portugal and it was like 25 degree heat. They were used to just passing the ball around quickly and we were used to running more. So they were more intelligent to that, but we adapted to it over the, over the week. Staying with them for a long time, you build strong relationships with those people and you go on to be good friends in, inside of football and outside of football. So it's always good just to have friends in your club and around the club just to get you through when you need them most. <laughs>